Scripture says gift to the poor. It does not say gift to those with smartphones and regular data. If you think those are the poor, then you don't know what poverty means. You're giving to the middle class uh, and there's nothing wrong with that. And this is coming from Reno or Mercury. I like, um, at first I had a problem with this um, story when I just read to, like, got to the end that it, there's nothing wrong with that. Do you understand? So it's just trying to differentiate what it means to be given to the poor and what it doesn't and what it means to be given to the middle class. So it's your choice. It's a thing of choice. Now, you can as well give to the rich if you want to. You can give to the middle class. You can give to the poor. But it's just saying that if you want to say you're giving to the poor, then this is not the poor. So I think it's just a thing of balancing it out and letting you know that, OK, these are the middle class people. These are the poor people. So there's absolutely nothing wrong with what they tweeted. I have a problem with the definition of middle class and poor in this contest because um, yes, I am. This is not to downplay the fact that we have poor, poor um, people who um, maybe I should just say, you know, those kind of pictures the Western world I like to take about Africa. Those kind of poor, well, right? I understand, but I think equating having a smartphone to middle class is like saying if you have a furniture in your house, then you're rich. Mm -hmm. I mean, smartphone is becoming, it's not becoming, this is now a necessity that even those beggars that you see on the road have That's it to communicate. So the fact that I have a smartphone or that I have data does not mean I am not poor in the sense of being poor. Maybe when you now want to start um, grading poverty and saying this is level A poverty or level B and you can say, um, okay, fine, middle class and all that. So I do not agree that everybody online um a middle class mm. i don't agree with that mm. but however of course you ha can decide who you want to give but if we want to get to that conversation of defining what poverty is maybe we will not have to start bringing out the graphs and saying yeah. how much did you I earn mean, a day yeah. how much you spend on mm. food and yeah. all that but we all need help yeah That's i think i like I how you went about him saying in this context because I mean, sociology will say that there's absolute poverty. So absolute poverty, meaning that you can't even survive for that day. Mm -hmm. And then there's sustainable poverty. So you can try and like, at least there's a, there's a way you can look for something. Even the people under $1, they can, maybe there's a place that they can go to for that $1. And then there's absolute poverty where if you don't help me, I could die. Mm -hmm. um, and yes, those people are definitely more like at risk and vulnerable. So they, we, our help should be aiming for that but the problem with that is that they're so unreachable like it's hard to get to remote areas especially if you don't have the connections to do that because there's, sometimes there's not even a way to get there because of how remote these places are we help and trust in um, like the people NGOs, the NGOs yeah. and things and the governments to help with those people but my problem with this text really was when he brought in scripture because I don't think um, scripture was saying that you know the poor are the it's based on hierarchy and systems like i don't think he was saying that when, when he said oh give to the poor it meant that the poor that's really 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 poor not the poor that's like extra poor and like um for me um classing classing my system has always been something that i've struggled with in terms of accepting what that means like if someone says oh you're rich now or oh, you're poor now i feel like i can relate to that on different days like some days i genuinely feel poor like like I don't have and then there's some days where I'm like girl where are we going like you know and there's like a, a lot to spare and so it's like that for a lot of people yeah so that's why I have a very big problem with that category as well like poor and, and whatnot because when I'm poor I want help and I think I, d I deserve that help as much as anybody else um but I guess like in, in, in with what he's saying about giving a coronavirus yes maybe we should focus more on people who are a lot like a lot more desperate if that's mm -hmm. the word um, yeah and if it's bringing the scripture to read, then I don't think the word poor in the scripture is just based on finances. And I think you can also be poor intellectually. You can be poor with the way you look at things. And if you can't help someone, you help the person. Yeah. It's based on what you can do for a person per time. So and I think he's referring to this period of time, like right now we're focusing on the poor financially. yeah but he's still talking about scripture do you think that the scripture was, I don't scripture was not talking about COVID -19, i don't think he, he brought in the scripture he said, he said scripture the, he said the give, scripture says yeah give to the poor but at the end of the day the poor in this context is about COVID 19. and okay. you, you think that the scripture was to, okay, he said it's scripture a, i know but i'm saying that in COVID 19 context this period of time when you're given to the poor this mm -hmm. period okay of that's time. where you want to look at yes, it from because he did not mention I COVID 19 yeah, i don't want to look at it from any other but All i'm looking right, at no this difficult period for a lot of people the yeah. poor the middle class and even the rich it's difficult for every one of us yeah it is